Excavators at Alexandria's Chalo Gardens Park are finishing another long day. The hunt has stalled for three years. Egypt may never yield Alexander the Great's tomb. Egyptologists have discovered new information about Alexander the Great's tomb. Kelly Plimios Papacosta, the dig's principal archaeologist, believes Alexander's tomb is under the park. Greek historians believed Alexander's tomb was there. Dig Papacosta has grown tired of excavating under the park. The Greek archaeologist is ready to abandon the location in May. Excavators have uncovered no evidence of Alexander's tomb. Papacosta notices someone. Rayak, her Hellenic Research Institute of Alexander Civilization Assistant, in 356 BC, Macedonian King Philip II welcomed the light. He had intentions for Alexander, but he couldn't predict his future. Twenty years later, Alexander became king and established Macedonian dominance over Greece, Asia, Africa, and anybody who hindered his ideal of a united Greek world. His faithful men beat the Persians, Egyptians, and others. Despite his early death, his great impact created the Hellenistic period. Alexander, especially, fostered Greek culture via emigration. According to historical accounts, it was stowed away in a golden coffin and deposited in a drainage system in Egypt. Ptolemy Soter, who had been Alexander's former lieutenant, managed to steal the ship while it was in Syria and bring the body to Memphis. Alexander's jewelry and armor had been confiscated by other generals, so it's possible that he saw the body as a sign of his superiority over the other generals. In later years, Ptolemy Philadelphus disposed of the bones by burying them in Alexandria. Pausanias refers to this location as Soma, which is Greek for body. By the year 270 BC, everyone was aware that the invaders had killed Ariel at Alexandria. The location of his grave eventually became the focus of his cult. Cleopatra and Julius Caesar visited, according to records. The last Roman emperor to visit was Caracalla in 215 AD. Even as people paid respects to Alexander's tomb, nature did not impose a number of hazards. Sunimus wrecked Alexandria in 356 BC. The city also faced earthquakes. Many large tremors have caused damage, but nature has something worse in store. Climate change will raise the Mediterranean Sea by at least a foot and maybe a yard by the end of the century. That much sea level rise may flood neighborhoods and compel people to evacuate. Ibrahim, a grocery worker, told Reuters, it would be a disaster. Building and population growth have destroyed the city's original foundations, leaving certain items unidentified. Despite old descriptions, Alexander's tome remains hard to find throughout the city. The two may have been robbed in one of Alexandria's numerous wars. Christianity's 5th century wars against other religions may have led to the tomb's destruction. It may not be as prestigious as uncovering Tutankhamun's tomb because several attempts have failed to unearth it. Egypt's archaeology chief reported at least 140 searches for the legendary warrior's tomb. Despite several Roman discoveries, Polish excavators began digging at Kameldika in Alexandria's downtown in 1960 and were still there in 2019. They haven't found Alexander's grave among the poles at Nimi Daniel's Mosque, where an Arabic crew began digging in 1991. Arabic sources say the mosque and tomb are close, but the University of Alexandria's chief professor, who claimed to have looked there, didn't like the excavation. The mosque's managers closed it out of concern about the dig's impact. Tomb in 1989 by two Greeks, Leone, Savalzi excavated at a Sua Oasis temple, far from Alexandria. She insisted the two were there, but her opinion was unpopular. Stelio Camasos, a Greek waiter, searched about Alexandria in his leisure time, but no one knows what he uncovered. Another Greek interested in Alexander's tome was a trained archaeologist in the early Hellenistic era, and the statue had all the qualities of an Alexander resemblance. Papa Costa said the statue offered her his hand immediately after she found it. She begged God to see the hand turn to see whether it had a weapon to verify it belonged to Alexander the Great. Same procedure for the spear bearer. Frederick Hebert, 
a local and National Geographic Society archaeologist, told National Geographic that seeing the ancient Alexandrian foundations for the first time gave him shivers. Papa Costa has employed more modern techniques to help her further study the area, in addition to antique maps and the accounts of ancient historians. The technology she uses includes electrical resistivity tomography. It conducts an electrical current through the earth to reveal the whereabouts of things beneath the surface through varying levels of resistance up to 2019. In 2018, a major part of the team's work was to uncover a Ptolemaic building that had been modified by Romans. On top of that, Papa Costa has found a Roman road, and that's not all the ruins of a huge building. They hint at perhaps as many as 14 potential structures. Armed with ERD outcomes as a roadmap, the team knew where to dig, and some of the things they found have been truly intriguing. He compared her to a fighter who might be knocked down, but gets back up and goes the entire nine rounds, saying it's uncommon in his experience to see someone who has stayed at a single place for 21 years. Papa Costa has not lost sight of the objective, despite the fact that she is aware of the possibility that the tomb will be difficult to locate. She shared her self-assurance with National Geographic, noting that despite the fact that it might not be easy to find, the fact that she is in the royal neighborhood of Alexandria puts all of the odds in her favor and makes her the most likely candidate. Pentecost is proving that the British archaeologist D.G. Hogarth, who once stated that there was nothing to hope for in the city of Alexandria, is incorrect by stating that Hogarth stated that classical archaeologists who have found so much in Greece are in Asia Minor and should forget about the city. Her finding of a single piece of marble led her to the uncovering of ancient foundations, one of which may still house the grave of the great conqueror Alexander. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.